Naam sote vuke mipaka mtazamaji ambapo Rais William Ruto amehimiza jamii ya kimataifa kuelekeza rasilimali zao katika kuondoa vikwazo vinavyohujumu utekelezaji wa malengo maendeleo endelevu. Rais Ruto amesema uyanishaji rasilimali na malengo ya maendeleo endelevu ni muhimu katika kupiga jeki ustawi wa kiuchumi. Ruto alisema mataifa mengi haswa barani Afrika yameshindwa kutekeleza malengo ya maendeleo endelevu kutokana na vizingiti kama vile madeni, mfumuko wa bei za bidhaa, athari za mabadiliko ya hali ya anga pamoja na mizozo. Data indicates that many countries are not making progress in the implementation of SDGs. The combination of multiple crises such as the COVID-19 pandemic extreme weather events conflicts and inflation has disrupted economies leading to food and energy insecurity and impacting health and the cost of living Ruto aliyesema hayo aliposhiriki mjadala wa baraza kula umoja wa mataifa kuhusu malengo ya maendeleo endelevu pamoja na rais wa Slovenia na Tansa Pikmusa kuhusu ushirikishi wa sayansi na uvumbuzi wa teknolojia pamoja na data katika hatua ya kuleta mabadiliko The time has come for the international community to mobilize adequate resources for common global finance mechanisms accessible to all serving the global public good and unlocking the necessary private capital for research and development. For Africa in particular, such investment is urgently needed for evidence-based sustainable development and climate positive growth. Baadaye pembezoni mwa mkutano huo wa baraza kula umoja wa mataifa, rais alifanya mazungumzo na rais wa Albania, Bajram Begaj, ambaye alielezea nia yake ya kufungua ubalozi wa taifa hilo humu nchini. Rais pia alikutana na rais wa Slovakia, Suzana Kaptova, ambaye aliahidi kuunga mkono mipango ya Kenya ya kutumia magari yasiyotumia mafuta kwa kuhimiza utumizi wa betri za kielektroniki. Pia walikubaliana kushirikiana katika kuimarisha utengenezaji mbo ya humu nchini na usalama wa mtandao. Bitriz Gatonya Ngetich Darubini. Naam, tukirejea humu nchini ni kuwa mkewe na Ibrahim